with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning, and I realize that a bar graph is not the most exciting first graphic to use in a weather forecast, but I'm using this because I think it really tells the story of today very well. You can see what's happening with our rainfall situation. The chances are fairly low all day long, and then notice the spike right around 8 or 9 p.m. through the evening hours. That will be our best chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, so it's likely that a lot of our day remains rain-free. Now, we'll have to keep an eye on the sky later on this afternoon for some of those thunderstorms popping up. That would likely be... Uh, north and west of 295 if it were to happen before sunset. Right now, not a lot going on on live pinpoint Doppler 12. We had some showers moving offshore. A lot of surfers in the water. They don't care about these clouds and the temperatures in the 60s. We will be warming things up at the coast today compared to yesterday, although that's not very hard, where we had temperatures in the low 60s yesterday. Today, we should be able to make the 70s with a few holes in the clouds punched through by late this morning into the afternoon. Not a completely sunny day, but I do think we won't stay completely overcast. Our dew points will be on the rise today. You will especially notice that by lunchtime, so we're going to put you in the muggy category. And then not so bad tomorrow and Tuesday, and then humidity starts to rise once again towards the middle, and especially the end of the week as those temperatures start to increase. We're in the upper 50s in Smithfield right now, 60 Taunton, 61 Newport, 60 Westerly, and 61 on Block Island. So temperatures right now kind of feel like they did all day long yesterday. But again, if you have some patience, those temperatures will start to rise. We are completely calm right now with our winds. We'd actually use a little more of a breeze to help kind of mix out this cooler and moist air at the surface, and that does start to happen over the next few hours. You can see there are a decent amount of clouds, but also some holes in the clouds as we're looking over Connecticut on the satellite and radar loop. And then this disturbance right here that's swinging through the Great Lakes, that will help trigger some of those showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon. We can actually walk you through that right now. So 9 o'clock in the morning, maybe a sprinkle or two down towards the south coast near the westerly area, and then it's a dry day. Now, by noontime, notice it's a mix of clouds and some breaks in the cloud cover, and that's really the story during the afternoon. By 5 p.m., here we go, chance of some showers and thunderstorms, but you can see the best chance is actually just to the north and west of our area. Now, could one or two of these slip into places like Pasco or Burville? Sure, that's possible. I think down towards the south coast, if we were to see a shower or thunderstorm, it does not happen until much later on this evening. You could see by 8, 9 p.m., that's when the chance of showers and thunderstorms start to increase, and a few of these could have some heavy downpours and lightning with them, so just be be mindful of that. And then later on tonight through tomorrow morning, we dry things out only to see the chance of a few more showers and maybe a thunderstorm return by Monday afternoon. So if you're heading to the CVS Charity Classic over here in Barrington, don't assume a washout, but there may be a pop-up shower or two. If it were to happen, it would not last very long. Today's temperatures, as I mentioned, require some patience to finally get into the 70s. By noontime, lunchtime outside maybe, we should be in the 70s and then around 80 at around 3 or 4 p.m. On the south coast, likely not going into the 80s, but the low 70s at the beaches should be the general rule with some patchy fog this morning. And on the water, waves in Narragansett Bay around 2 to 3 feet with winds out of the southwest at around 5 to 10 knots. High tide 1148 this morning, low tide at 618 this evening. Seven-day future cast brings in a cooler Monday with those pop-up showers possible. Tuesday's beautiful, mostly sunny, low humidity. Wednesday, low 80s. Chance of some showers on Thursday. And then notice the trend here. Towards the end of the week and the weekend, we are seeing signs of increasing heat and humidity. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, I